Did you know a doctor performed a lobotomy on his own wife to cure her grief? In 1967, Dr. Walter Freeman was America's most famous brain surgeon, known for his ice pick lobotomies. He had performed thousands of these procedures, inserting a thin metal rod through patients' eye sockets to destroy brain tissue. When his son died tragically, his wife fell into deep depression. Freeman believed he could cure her sadness by severing the emotional connections in her brain. He set up their kitchen table as an operating room, convincing his trusting wife it would help. With no anesthesia, he pushed the ice pick through her eye socket while she remained awake. He wiggled it back and forth, destroying the tissue that controlled her emotions. The procedure worked too well. She emerged as an empty shell, unable to feel grief for their son or love for Freeman himself. He had destroyed the woman he loved while trying to save her. This personal tragedy led to lobotomies being banned and Freeman's career ending in disgrace.